Hello, everyone. I am going to continue talking about step involved in causal comparative research. Okay, now let's talk about step number three, uh, which is about instrumentation. Okay, for instrumentation here, there is no limit on the types of instruments that may be used in the causal comparative study. Uh, the researcher, of course, can use or select the instruments that are reliable or allow him or her to draw a valid conclusion. Yes, uh, the instrument can be achievement tests, questionnaires, interview schedules, uh, attitudinal measure, observational devices, and many, many more. Okay, let's let's see the the real sample of each instrument that i mentioned previously together okay here it is this is um the achievement i mean the sample of achievement test okay this is how questionnaire look like so uh, of course there are many different questionnaire designs so the researcher can use one of them for their research study. This one is interview schedule. And this one is attitude measurement scale. Oh uh, well, after a researcher have selected a reliable or valid instrument, uh, data of course for the study can be um, collected. Yes. I think um, that is it for step number three, instrumentation in designing core, I mean, in designing um, causal comparative research. Okay, please check the video below to find out step number four, which is the very last step that uh, involves in causal comparative research study. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.